and uh, welcoming uh, Senator Pamela Wallen to the drive. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining Great us. Great to be with you. Hey, it's a pleasure to get the opportunity to interview you today. Now, of course, sometimes our, our favorite favorite topic here in Canada to do is sometimes to uh, kind of point the finger at our big brother south of us. Uh, you have some concerns sometimes when we do this. All It seems we do this quite often is uh, uh, pointing our finger at our, our big brother uh, to our south. Yeah, I guess I had the vantage point of living in New York as as Canada's Consul General there after 9-11 and sort of watching how we dealt with Americans at that time. I think it's always been the case, but it was uh, a particularly difficult time then. And and I see now that we're starting to move into a, a different way of handling this. As you know, the Prime Minister is going down to meet with Barack Obama in September. This will be their seventh or eighth visit. And and we've kind of turned the, the rhetoric down and the level of engagement, which doesn't know, I mean, public engagement. And I think this is what we have to do. We have to find ways to solve problems and do it without yelling aloud. We had a lot of problems with people using some pretty heated rhetoric over the last few years. And I think that we're, we're shifting in to a different mode. And I think that's the right way to go. When we look at it, uh, over uh, the relationship over the last number of years has certainly not been the, the uh, cozy or warmer relationship that uh, Canada and the U.S. generally has had with, uh, with the rhetoric up to higher and newer levels. Is that correct? Well, I think that's it. I mean, we had the problem here in Canada of in the post-9-11 time and in the fights over, uh, you know, whether or not we would go to Iraq and all of those kinds of things. And we saw some people on Parliament Hill using words like moron and others that you might not want broadcast on your airwaves uh, today. That's no way to deal with a friend and an ally and our largest trading partner. And and we have to deal with the ongoing issue of open borders and the price of those open borders uh, being secure borders, which means we have to work together to make that kind of thing happen. We've got this simultaneously coming at a time when Canadians are sort of in general sighing a sigh of relief and saying, oh, well, we didn't like George Bush that much and we love Barack Obama, so things are going to be going better. Not the case. Wrong. The problem uh, for Canada is with a, it, when you've got a democratic controlled Congress that they are very protectionist minded. We've seen Buy America policies and increased talk about building up walls at the border. Uh, just because we might like an individual, level, uh, individual leader better doesn't mean that's better for the relationships between our two countries. So I just think we have to be smarter about it. We have to do our homework and really look at the policies and the beliefs of the people we're doing business with, but also keep the rhetoric down. These are, you know, these are two big grown-up countries, and, and I like the way that we're, we're trying to deal with some of those issues now. I, I really hope that we can find our way through some of these tough issues um, by, just, by just making sure we don't uh, provoke people unnecessarily and vice versa. Our guest on The Drive this segment is Senator Pamela Wallen joining us uh, from Ottawa. Uh, Senator Wallen, uh, the Buy American provision has been something that has been, uh, uh, we've been talking about on The Drive, but uh, also news media across the country has been talking about, and, and the concerns over the uh, this Buy America program. Of course, uh, Canadians, I think you touched on it. We were having this sort of love, and, love affair with Mr. Obama when he was the running for president, but now all of a sudden this Buy American program are going, hey, wait a second, you you can't shut us out. Well, this is true. And I mean, for some of us who were living stateside, we were trying to send up these warning signals, which is, you know, be careful what you wish for, uh, because it, it can cause problems. I think part of this, and I had this experience myself when I was Consul General in New York, we would go out, because we saw a little bit of this post 9-11 too, where people were concerned about what was coming across their borders and whether those borders were secure. So they decided they wanted to buy things locally, so they didn't have to worry about all that. And and a lot of state legislatures passed laws, and we would go out and sit down with governors or, or um, uh, state representatives and say, now look, this is not in your own best interest. You've, we've been selling you this product for X number of years, and it's the best price you'll ever get. And they'll go, well, no, no, this legislation is for foreign countries. 
And you go, yes, that's right, Canada's a foreign country. You know, that's the flip side of it, is that sometimes Americans just see us as friends and these cousins across the border, and, and when they put these laws in, which are sometimes designed to, you know, uh, impact places like China and and thing you know countries they're really worried about they don't realize that we're getting caught up in that sweep um, so that's just part of that ongoing education that has to go on about you know what makes the other guy tick do we really know how their systems work uh, do we know you know that the Congress is probably more powerful than the president as the president himself is finding out these days as he tries to push forward health care his own biggest uh, problems are coming from within his, within his own party inside that democratically con- controlled Congress. So uh, we just need some education on both sides of the border, and, and it's up to us to to make sure that we know who we're doing business with, what what's driving them, and uh, how best we can negotiate in those circumstances. 